Here we're seeing simultaneous on the left side the incision design schematically and on the right side a repeat of the video that I just showed you. So let's look at this again. Mid crestal in the tuberosity area. Now we don't have to go here. A number of folks will release this incision, this mid crestal, maybe here, maybe here. I prefer to come all the way around and through and then release it in the buccinator, a surface release here. Now why? Well, number one reason, I may want to harvest some of this bone from the tuberosity and use it as an autogenous bone graft. Number two, I have a much broader area to work from. If I do want to use any of this lateral wall, for example, with a bone scraper and harvest even more bone, then I have that ability. And then thirdly, we just have better access in general. I don't like to limit myself to just a release, for example, at the, the base of the molar here, and for example, distal to the lateral incisor, for example, right here. I don't like that. That's just personal preference. So again, this is the cellular incision. You see us more or less including this all the way around on the pellet as well of the pellet aspect of the molar. And you're seeing that being done there. And there's our mid-crestal incision. And now once again, cellular, including the papilla and then a surface release incision. This is the second surface release that is done anteriorly. So in summary, what I'm showing you is a distal release at the tuberosity, a distal surface release incision, and an anterior release right here. So anterior and posterior, and then cellular, crestal, cellular, crestal. That's the typical outline for a thick, gingival phenotype patient or even hybrid. If we have a thin phenotype patient, then I'm going to do something a little bit different. And that is, I'm going to release typically right at this marginal ridge area or maybe right at the base of the tooth itself. If in fact, I'm not placing implants at the same time. In other words, a two-stage approach. And there's a reason for that as I'll explain more later. So again, we're going to continue the video and just as I showed you previously, there's the summary on the left-hand side of our release incisions, our cellular and our crestal.